Hi students, today is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020 or 2020. Uh, it is the last day of school and I am full of mixed emotions. I know, I know Ms. Nisha is too. We want you guys to have an incredible summer, um, but know that we will miss you. We have enjoyed our time with you this year. Just a couple of things. The fifth grade promotion is from 9 to 10 a.m. So during that time, I will be attending it. Um, that class was actually my very first class uh, that I had when I started at Meadow Heights. Okay, let's get started with your assignments. You're gonna read independently for 20 minutes. And um, again, you can break that up throughout the day. Then you are going to listen or read The Last Day Blues. Now, when you open up this book, it's gonna remind you of the first day jitters and it has the same characters, it's got the same teacher, so I think that you'll enjoy it. Then we want you to write about how do you feel now that it is the last day of school? What will you do this summer? And what do you hope second grade will be like? Okay, now on to science. So today you're gonna eat like a bird and um, you're gonna do a bird sketch. And so for the worksheets, you can just click right below. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the PowerPoint today. Okay, so here's the bird sketch. So let me read the directions to you. Did you notice any interesting patterns on the bird? Were there stripes on the head or wings? Sketch or make notes about any patterns you observe. So they're giving you an example picture of the bird. Go outside, look in some trees, of course, with your parents' permission, um, and see what birds you see. You might have to sit and wait for a while. I know I hear birds in my backyard all the time. I don't always see them. So you might have to sit kind of still and try not to make a lot of noise. And who knows, they might pop out of the tree and walk right in front of you. So sketch a picture of that. Now, at the bottom of the page, it says, I think my bird is white. And it says, it's okay if you don't know the species, what type of bird do you think it is? So perhaps if you see a blue bird, you might think it's a blue jay. And then maybe with your parents' permission, you could look it up online and see if you were correct. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next page. Eat like a bird. So this is called the beet pain. Gather as many of the following items as you can to represent foods birds eat. Macaroni, that represents small animals. Goldfish crackers, fish. Gummy worms, that represents earthworms. Chocolate sprinkles, that represents ants. Peanuts, sunflower seeds, mini marshmallows, that can represent grubs or caterpillars. Dry cereals, that could be insects. And fruit juice, that could be nectar. So the reason they chose those different things is because um, they have a similar texture. They don't necessarily taste the, the same way, but they have a similar texture. Okay, so then the beak. This is your utensils. Find a clothespin or toothpick or straw or spoons, small plastics, small plastic scoop, scissors, or small scissors. Hold one type of beak. So all of the things I just read could be one type of beak in your hand and keep the other hand behind your back with one type of food in front of you. So maybe you have the clothespin and you got the macarons in front of you. Okay, so then you're gonna to try to gather as much food as possible in 15 seconds. Keep in mind your survival depends on your ability to gather food. After 15 seconds, try another beak and gather food for another 15 seconds. So repeat these steps for each type of beak. Okay, so after you try that with as many beaks as you want, the clothespin, the toothpick, the straw, the spoon, et cetera, then you're gonna answer this question. Which beak was the most successful in gathering each type of food? And then you have some other things you can do below. Bird beaks are like the tools you used in this activity. Can you match the shape, function of any of the tools with any real beaks? The shape of a bird's beak is a critical adaptation for the survival because it helps them gather the food within their habitat. Different beaks are better suited for different foods. Next time you see a bird, take a look at its beak and see if you can tell what it eats. Okay, I hope you have fun with that activity. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of giggles and lots of laughs to your family. Okay, let's take a look at math for Friday. 
And you're going to listen to one of my absolutely favorite stories in the whole world, the math curse. I mean, it's a long story. I think this video is about 14 minutes long, but oh, it is just so great and it is full of fun math problems. Um, so after you listen to it, we want you to write a math problem about yourself and your life or use one of the ideas that's from the book. Okay. Now you've got your worksheets for standards review. I'll flip through them like I have in the other days. I think there's eight pages today. No, there's 10 pages today. So again, they look very similar. All of these are just reviewing standards that we've gone over for this year. Um, so I like to think of these as optional, you know, try some of the um, other activities, which are a little bit more fun. But if you really like doing problems like this, then you know what, go for it. Okay, now, today I'm going to talk about one more thing, and that is our class meeting. I haven't talked about that in the other videos, just because there's that potential that, you know, we might have done something different in our classes. But today, for Wednesday, we are going to have a combined classes picnic. So, at 12.30, have your lunch, have your computer, whatever device you use, maybe a blanket. I know for me, it's probably going to be a little windy and chilly or a chair and find a good place to sit outside and join us for a relaxing lunch and conversation as we say goodbye for the year. Now, at this point, we also have some other special guests that are gonna join us and you'll have to wait and see who that is. Um, I think you'll be very surprised and excited. One thing we'd like you to think about is your hopes for next year. So here's a Padlet that we are going to be filling out. You can also start filling this out um, you know, this morning. Uh, and you're just thinking about either what do you want to learn in second grade or what do you hope for for second grade? So here's my hope for you. My hope for, for all of us is that you will get to see all your friends next year and get a chance to play together again. Okay, students, last thing right here, if you click on this link, it'll take you to the class picnic um, meeting link. It's not in Ms. Misha's or in, in my Google Classroom. You're gonna to have to use the link that's here or the link that is in your calendar. All right, students, we have had a wonderful year with you. I am so excited and I know Ms. Misha is too to have our combined class picnic. Have a wonderful summer.